ನೂರು ಸಭೆ ಕವಿ ವಾಸ್ ಗೊತ್ತಿರಕ್ಕೂ ರೀ ಜೊತೆ ಶಾಖ ಹೋದು ಹೇಳ ಮುದ್ದು ತೇರಿಂಬೇರಿ ಮುರಿ ಒಮ್ಮೆ ಆ ಕಯಾಂ ಬೇರೆ ತಾಕೊಳಗಿ ಉಮ್ಮೆ ನಿಸ್ತ್ರಿ ವಾಂ ಬೇರೆ ಗುಸು ಹೋಕ ಏಹು ಕಾಜಿ ಕಾರಿ ಅಫತಯ ಮಫರಾಂಗ ಅಮುಂಗೆ ಫಾಜಿದ ದುಶಿರ ಹಿಡಿಯ ನೋ ಹಿ ನೋ ಗೊತ್ತು ಹೋಬಾ ಕು ಬುಜಿಮ ಅಫತ ಮಫರಾಂಗ ಗೊಜೆ ಗುಫುಂಗುರ ಜಾಂಬಸಾಡ್ ಹಾಂಜೆ ಲಬಿಜಿ ಬುಕ ಬಿಹುಂಬೆ ಮಗ ನಬಿರಿ ಜಮ ದೊರ ಅರ ಜೇಂಡ ನೋಬನ್ ಹರ ಗರು ಅರೆಯ ಹಾಂಬಿರಿ ಅರೆಯ ಅಥವಾ ಅವ 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 ಮುಗು ಫರಾನ್ಸ ಅರೆಗೂ ಸಿಂಜೆ ಕೊಯ್ಯಮ್ಮ ಫರಾಂಗ ಚಿಮುತ್ತುಂಜೆ ಬಂಬಗ ರಶಿದ ಚೇರ ಅರೆ ಜಿ ಇವರ ಹಾಂಜ ಮುಗು ಫರಾನ್ಸ ndeka ndetse tukagerageza kubirisho gihugu ngo ari ku hano umuntu hano batwambuye turatakamba vakaduseka ahubwo bariho babwira nabandi ngo nawe batwara yandi bagende eh hanyuma noneho muri twe no marara pierre aba muri twe muri twe abarwanyi ntambara bageze bate sinzi uko babiyenza nabo bamwe bafata inzira bari yendera kubera ko ubundi muri bo banarwana niyo ntambara ibyo bari bafite mu mutwe bazageraho cyangwa bazigezaho baje kusanga atari wo mugambi rusange wara pierre and when there was accountability to be exercised by RPF they could no longer fit in RPF they had to leave some of them were in high positions some of them had reached the positions of being the secretary general of RPF others had and so on and so forth and here we, we i mean we are human beings we deal with the human beings and uh, what i'm saying must be seen in that light in one case like that one who at one time became the rpf uh, secretary general first uh, we had a debate we had a discussion what do we do with this money that was collected from rpf cadres and supporters and so on and so forth that was left when we got into government and the struggle first phase was over i think people wanted to consume it and finish it but some of us had uh, this idea that we can't do that we must find a way of actually multiplying 
these resources even into the future so that we retain this level of independence of financial autonomy for the RPF itself as a party. I'm bringing up this because it's important. There are a few things I want to point out. And I remember there are all sorts of debates. Oh, no, the RPF can't do business. You know, if you invest it, you want to make more money. Oh, this is a recipe for all kinds of problems. But some of us pushed back and refused and said, no. We can't just consume this money and it gets lost and we are done and start afresh. We have to maintain this level of independence for our party. They talked of all kinds of things. I remember that person who was, used to be the Secretary General arguing, it's like, you know, you can't do business. And And even started making other serious accusations, like uh, some people or somebody wants to control this money for his own benefit and so on and so forth. But this person, I'm sure the other PF cadres, many of them here know what I'm talking about. Was actually eventually caught stealing money. And on that basis, when he was going to be held accountable, he ran away and is up to now still living in the United States. So we, we, we soldiered on And I was telling people that if you are worried about keeping this money for the RPF and keep it growing and for the sake of RPF and so on and so forth, because you think there will be thieves stealing the money, and, and I had told them, I said, actually, if you can't do that, you are going to be stealing money from government. What, what is it? What is going to stop you stealing money from government? Because you are a PF, we have become government now. You are worried you can't keep money of the RPF and you can't do that and because it will cause the kinds of problems, why isn't this one going to cause problems? Or you think, let's avoid this problem, but let's have it in some form in a government because it is government. And that's where this problem started. And there was a sense of entitlement, entitlement every time. You know, the usual stuff. People do wrong things and they don't expect to be held accountable because uh, they fought, they sacrificed. You can't touch them. But they would expect you to touch others. He said, no. Even now we say no. <laughs> All of us must be held accountable. That's how we can be able to move forward. We are held accountable politically. We are held accountable by other means, or through other means. But it must 
have a sense of accountability. That's when the sense of responsibility goes up. But the sacrifices of RPF permeated into government and structures and institutions. I will tell you one other story and I stop there for other things. The other story was uh, when we entered the government, the, the soldiers of RPF, ones who had been 